Honorable Prime Minister Modi is uh, one of the leaders who live beyond this lifetime. And as he wants all Bharatiyas to be healthy, unlike me a little bit on the other side, derive a lot of strength from him, a lot of, uh, you know, inputs by the way he conducts his life. Uh, that would go re correlate with the food from eastern part of our uh, country also because the Naga cuisine is wonderfully healthy. Uh, use of oil is almost negligible and the organic food products. All the apprehensions and doubts about Naga food being quite wild and crazy will go away. First of all, uh, celebrating uh, the Nagaland cuisine, Naga cuisine here in such a great city of Delhi, in such a one of the best top hotels in the world, Pullman and Novotel. And um, I think um, I'm surprised at the same time, very happy to taste a curated much well-developed uh, taste for the palate of the world. And I think th that is something which has really been done very well today, as I ha we had the privilege to taste them also. Right. Um, sir, Prime Minister Modi recently emphasized the need of LD diet, uh, you know, among you. So what are the things about PM Modi that inspire you? The Honorable Prime Minister Modi is uh, one of the leaders who live beyond this lifetime. And as he wants all Bharatiyas to be healthy, unlike me a little bit on the other side, but uh, I think um, uh, we'll derive a lot of strength from him, a lot of, uh, you know, inputs by the way he conducts his life by the way he lives his life. I think it's something to be more researched upon and so that we all can also live like him. And I think uh, that would go re correlate with the food from eastern part of our uh, country also because the Naga cuisine is wonderfully healthy. Uh, use of oil is almost negligible. And the organic food products and then the uh, vegetables the, you know, uh, everything there is completely organic. Well, I would like to request all the viewers that are there, especially in Delhi and in and around, to come here at the Pullman Hotel, uh, where the Odyssey of the Naga Cuisine is there up to the 3rd of uh, March. And I'm telling you, I've tried it, I've tested it, and I feel like home. Uh, food created by a loving mother and put on the plate, you know, for us to taste. And I think all the apprehensions and doubts about Naga food being quite wild and crazy will go away. And you should come here, enjoy the food, enjoy the ambience, especially thanks to Pullman and Novotel Hotel and all of you for hosting us. And absolutely to come to Nagaland, it is a prelude to come to Nagaland. Whatever is being hosted here today enhances the value of the brand called Nagaland. And if you see about the brand called Nagaland, you have to understand the brand called Hornbill, the Hornbill Festival. So this year is going to be the 25th year, the jubilee year of the Hornbill Festival, which is called the Festival of All Festivals. Please come to Nagaland from the 1st of December till the 10th of December and have a great experiential tour 
of the Naga way of life, culture, traditions, heritage, food, music, and life. First of all, I always wanted to come back and open my own restaurant, and uh, which I did after coming back uh, 2012. I returned back for good from London, and 2000 I took a break for one year. Then uh, 2013, I opened my restaurant, which I ran it for five years. Uh, but the journey was something which uh, was inspiring. So, and also to promote our own local cuisine was something which I always had in mind and to take our food to the next level and also across uh, pan india and also abroad right um, so chef what is it <coughs> behind you know starting these uh, pop-ups in different cities so uh, it happened by chance but i'm very happy that this kind of pop-up is happening all around uh, five star properties right now and also uh, I've done pop-up in Calcutta, Novotel, I've done in ITC, Sonar Bangla, and uh, I've done in Gymkhana Club as well. Then we have done uh, pop-up in Noida as well. Then we had a chef retreat in Chandigarh as well. So all those things, it's really helping uh, us as a chef who has come from a small place in Nagaland on, and Northeast, that we are being able to showcase our food to the pan-India. So, authenticity is something which uh, you use the ingredients that are there in our place. But uh, for the palate of uh, mainland India, we have to tweak it a little bit. So, I have a sauce company which is called Saucy Joe's. So, I use I blend sauces and make uh, uh, make the dish out of it and serve it. And uh, which uh, people are really liking about it, I made a smoked chili uh, sauce to go along with uh, the food, and people are really liking it. So that kind of uh, bringing authentic ingredients in and serving it to the restaurants is uh, a challenge, but at the same time, it's uh, rewarding when people like your food. Right. 